Today we're gonna to be working on a double glitter peekaboo. Super fun, not something I've done as a tutorial yet. And I wanna show you something different that you can do with these, well, this is a 25 ounce barrel. So this is not something I've ever used in a tutorial and I'm super excited to make this happen using this particular tumbler, showing you that you can do something different other than footballs and which by the way, this the snowmen, they're super, super cute. But I do wanna show you that you can do something totally different with these. Typically, you want to paint your base tumbler as close to the holographic in which you're going to use. But I'm actually gonna use six different hol holographic glitters, and I will have all of those listed down below for you because we're gonna go ahead and do the tacket method on this cup. So I went ahead and painted it black. More or less, I'm super curious to see how all of these holographics are going to appear on a black base. So I already have my tacket over and over, I'll have a link down below for that as well. I've already got it mixed. I've got my Mod Podge brush that can be purchased off Amazon. I will also have a link down below for that. And for all of your glitter and tumbler needs that are gonna be demonstrated in this tutorial, I will have the link for AB Designs. Make sure you use my coupon code SGOT15. So of your total order, no matter what you purchase from her site, you will get 50% off your total order. Anything that you shop over $100 is free shipping. So definitely look into that, guys. Um, um, let's go over the glitters that we're gonna use. We're gonna use Blue Lagoon, which is holographic fine. We're gonna use Money, holographic fine. We're going to use Rose Gold, as well as Born to Sparkle. and Shipwreck. And we're gonna use Pirate. We're gonna use just a little bit of this because I don't really want it to succumb the entire cup. So again, all of these array of colors that I'm going to use is going to be on the black base. I'm super curious to how it's going to look and how we can achieve all of these crazy colors that we're going to do. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see that it goes on the tumbler white. And then we're gonna let this get tacky before we apply the glitter. Now, when you make up your concoction of the tacket with water, do the best you can to do a one-in-one -one ratio. Um, mine is never exact. I'm going to be honest with you. It's never exact one to one, but you want your um, tacket and water concoction to be like a milky substance. Thin, not really thick, but not thin where it's dripping either. And then just make sure you have the entire tumbler covered. and smoothed out as best as you can. And these brushes work really, really great for that. So when I come back in just a few minutes, um, this will be completely clear. And that's when we know that we're ready to apply our holographics. Okay, stay tuned. I will be right back to apply all these fun colors to this tumbler. Thanks. So with no rhyme or reason, we're literally just gonna throw some colors on here. Okay, so we are completely dusted all over the tumbler, which does look super crazy right now, but you'll see this is gonna look amazing when we are done. All right, so I'm gonna slide all those over. Now we're just gonna rub in 
all of these glitters and get the holographic to appear. out of habit I just rubbed the bottom <laughs> that wasn't necessary I even put tacket down there and I didn't even need to that's so funny okay so like right here where there's a little bit of the black showing through where it nicked and right here at the top guys I'm not worried about that because the benefit of this is I will place the decals where it's flawless and so we won't even be able to see that Okay guys, so we're gonna come back with the quick coat right over the top of this, and then we're gonna hit it with the blow dryer. So I'm basically just gonna pour it right onto my fingers. Okay, so I applied three coats of the Quick Coat Urethane Sealer onto this tumbler. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a few more minutes to fully set, fully dry, because I did do three coats back to back. Um, I, even though I did use the blow dryer to you know, help the drying process, I wanna make sure it's very, very dry because I'm gonna try something that I can't seem to find on YouTube anywhere. And that's to see if we can use the Quick Coat I know it's supposed to be a barrier between that and the the resin, but I want to see if I'm going to be able to basically seal in the holographics that I've done and then go straight into the decals. I really hope this works, guys, because if it does, it's a literal game changer and you can have cups done in a fraction of the time. So please stay tuned and let's see if this is going to work together. Okay, guys, I just want to bring you up to speed as to where we're at. And as you can see, I went ahead and placed 90% of the decals that I wanted to use for this glitter peekaboo. And so I wanted to kind of bring you guys back in so you can see I'm gonna place just a few more on the front side and then I'm gonna save space for this particular image. This image was bought for me in order to do this tumbler. So I'm, I, it's so cute. Now, as you can see, it does have a white backing and we'll get to that in the next step when we're ready for it because I'm gonna trim all the white off. Um, it was literally bought as a sticker and we just need to remove the white. So as you can see, the decals have been placed and I used just a heat gun that you can pick up from Michaels or even Amazon. And because we're doing glitter on glitter, it's super important that you can locate all of the decals in which you placed. So I'm going to show you how we're going to place a couple more as soon as it rolls back around and how I'm going to use the hot glue to make little bubbles on each of the decals so that I can find them after we paint and glitter. Okay, so I think that's all that I'm going to use for now. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly and then I'll fast forward. Um, I want to make sure that I get all the ones that I literally just placed. And we're just gonna take the hot glue gun and put a little dot.
And don't worry about the strings. We can get those off once it's dry. So if the stringy parts that come off the hot glue gun seem to be an issue for you guys, once it's dry, you can go back through there and get those off very, very carefully. Okay, so once I am sure that all of the hot glue pieces that I just applied are completely dry, I'm going to go in with a Rust-Oleum, and this is Gloss Berry Pink. I'm going to spray paint the entire thing, and then I'm going to come back in with the AB Designs Savage. Okay, so we are spray painted, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump Savage all over the cup. If you guys do not have this color, it is a must get. This color is so beautiful and so vibrant. It's literally stunning. If you ever feel like you need a second coverage, you can literally let this just dry and then go over it with a clear seal. But if you guys can see very closely, see all the dimples? And so now we're gonna be able to find our um, decals very, very easily. I'll probably give it five or 10 minutes and then I'll go right back in with a clear seal and do another coat. Hello and welcome back. As you can see, I've already started pulling some. I have one that's actually ready to go as we speak, but I wanted to save something for camera. So as you can see, well, I'm gonna do this where my hands are out of the way. And it just peels right off. As with any peekaboos, you want to make very sure that you're not gouging too far in regardless if you're using regular epoxy or in this case where i used the counterculture diy um, i did go a little deep in a couple of spots so here's one for an example but i'm just going to literally use a very small brush i'm going to put tack it there and everywhere that i had a couple of mishaps so i had one two three i think three is all i had and i'm just going to go back in again with the little brush and i'm just going to fix that and at this point, because this is an ombre and there's a bunch of different colors in here, it's really not going to matter if I have a solid here. I'm not going to be that finicky about it. I think overall it's going to look fantastic. So in this case, we just need to make sure that we have everything pulled. And I can see a couple that I need to go ahead and get in here and grab. And we're going to go ahead and do that together. Perfect. And just do a little, little touch up. ready to do the fast set from counterculture DIY so I want you to know that I mixed part A and part B at 15 mls measured out so 30 total for this tumbler I'm going to add in um, AB designs bulletproof for this coat of epoxy So for the additive amount, we only need literally just a little bit. 
when you do a final coat, you can always add more if you feel that you need it. Otherwise, this will be plenty, and then you can just go with your final coat of epoxy as normal. Okay guys, we are back and we are completely dry. I have already did a very, very soft sand because I did such a very thin coat. You can see how dimply this is. That's okay. Again, as you guys have seen my previous tutorials, I do not let that bother me. I proceed forward. I know that I'm gonna be able to recover that. I did soft sand it. She's very smooth and we are ready for this decal that I have since cut out and got all the white out on. Not all, I mean, the. Okay, so those claws were very hard, but we're just gonna move forward. It's gonna be great. So let's go ahead and peel this from itself. So I'm just peeling away so that we can place this onto the tumbler. just with any decal or sticker in this case, push down and work your way out to one side and then the other. Look at how stinking cute that is. Get it, it's a skunk. <laughs> so funny. Man. Okay, so, so we are going to go ahead and glitter where right in where it looks like she's crashing out of this metal we're going to go ahead and mod podge right here or tack it in right in here with silver and then this cup is complete okay so we're going to go ahead and use tack it and we're literally just going to apply it i'm not going to do the whole thing I basically just want to do right around the edge of the decal. So we're using um, sterling silver from AB Designs. It's not a holographic, but I am going to use the tacket to apply it since I already have it out. giving it that added extra little touch. It doesn't have to be perfect. But it shows you that one little extra step that you can go to bring your tumblers full circle.
Hey you guys, welcome back. Now we're ready to go ahead and apply a coat of epoxy. But for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna go ahead with the counterculture DIY fast set epoxy. So that way I can use it, you know, get my photos taken because in just a couple of hours I'll be able to touch this cup, get the photographs for the photo montage at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. And then in a couple of hours, once I've taken my photos and all that fun stuff, I will come back and go ahead and do a final coat of art resin from Counterculture DIY. I've already got the epoxy mixed up and ready to go. Now, as you can see, I did go ahead and finish the rest of the outline in this with the silver off camera, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek on camera to show you just how I did that. Okay, so that's gonna do it for this coat of epoxy. If by any chance there's any mild sanding that needs to be done, I will do that before I go in with the final coat. If you ladies enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. If you have any questions regarding this video, Please don't forget to comment, ask down below, and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. And also stay tuned for the, video, the photo montage coming at the end. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.